You know how on January 6th, a, a bunch of angry Trump supporters, uh, mostly upper middle class, you know, business owners, CEOs, doctors, lawyers, uh, right wing live streamers, they, they, you know, they, they went into the Capitol and they, uh, they filmed themselves doing crime, breaking windows, breaking into people's office, threatening people, beating police officers, you know, that whole thing. Well, it, it, you know, those people, one thing that united them along with their support of Donald Trump and, and stealing the election and their class, because this is not a working class movement. This was a this was a, a rebellion, a, a revolt of the bourgeois, of the of the business class. Um, well, most of them were white, except, of course, for this guy. Who, you know, was not along with uh, many of the others who were given bail. He was not. So let me give you some details here. Uh, according to reports, 20-year-old Emmanuel Jackson, in the violent Capitol riot early this month, uh, is said to have been denied bail. Denied bail. Uh, Jackson, who was black, turned himself in to the Metropolitan Police Department in D.C. on January 18th, confirmed that he was seen in footage from the riot, per a New York Times report at the time, confessed to participating in the violence. Of course, um, there are pictures of, his, uh, pictures of him using a baseball bat uh, to, you know, clash with Capitol Police, uh, hitting riot shields and things like that. So, brother was deep in it. There's no doubt about that. Um, according to this report, Jackson was seen uh, using a baseball bat on police officers who were holding up shields. He now faces a total of five federal charges uh, in... Uh, connection with that riot. So uh, that's what happened there. Um, <clears throat> Jackson, who has a preliminary hearing set for next month, has not been given bond and will instead be held at a correctional treatment facility. So, okay. Uh, I wonder why. I wonder why this was happening. Uh, well, in a Washington Post DC report, uh, DC area attorney uh, Brandy Harden noted that Jackson had been recently homeless and was living in a transitional housing program when he had turned himself into authority. So, so he was actually not part of that upper crust. So he was one of the few people that were involved in this Capitol riot that were actually, you know, doing very poorly, uh, not doing well. So not part of the other, you know, the the generally the larger group of Trump supporters who are pretty affluent, right? So now yesterday. I talked about who, uh, or I, I, I talked about one of these affluent people, Jenny Cutt. She is a pro-Trump CEO of Flower Shop that actually got a lot of money in, in, in GoFundMe, uh, you know, donations from other Trump supporters for her defense. Uh, now, this woman had asked a judge if she could travel out of the country to Mexico for a work-related trip. Now, so she's not spending time in jail. Nope, they're not holding her, and they're and they're not, uh, le they're not saying that she can't travel out of the country. Now they haven't given her approval yet. There were some false stories going around saying that the judge had approved it already. So far, we don't necessarily know. Uh, but let me give you more details, okay? Now. Attorneys for Cud, who previously ran for Midland, had requested permission from a federal judge to take a work-related bonding retreat from February 18 to 21 with fellow employees and their spouses in a court motion filed on Monday. Prosecutors has, have already taken no position on Cud's motion, according to USA Today, and they have yet to make a decision. Cud is facing only two misdemeanor charges in January 6th capital siege, entering a restricted building, and disorderly conduct. Mm. She had posted a 25-minute Facebook video detailing her actions that day, of which, of course, she had done, you know, crime uh, during that time. But she said, well, we decided to storm the Capitol after alleging that Vice President Mike Pence had betrayed her and other quote-unquote patriots. Cut claimed that she and her others didn't actually vandalize anything, but that's not true, but acknowledged being part of a group that broke into the Speaker's office. If convicted on both charges... Cut reportedly faces up to 18 months in prison and a $100,000 fine. So 
But this upper-class businesswoman breaks into Pelosi's office as an insurrectionist in order to help steal the election for Donald Trump in a group that was chanting, hang Mike Pence. Um, and, you know, she decides that she is going to, after get, getting caught for all this stuff, to ask the judge if she can go to Mexico for a retreat. Homeless brother, however, goes in, fights the cops, along with many insurrectionists, and gets locked away. No bail. Uh, uh, okay, so I, I'm not saying that this guy should go free. What he did was very serious and very problematic. Okay, let's be very, very clear about that. But here's the thing. I'm just saying that even among Trump supporters, if you are white and well-to-do, you're, you're going to get organic food. In, in jail, you, or you can make bail uh, and maybe even get charged with only a misdemeanor when you were doing probably worse. But if you're a black man, you're going to get worse. You're going to get the shit, even if you are on their side and you do everything that they want. You put your body in harm's way. You're never going to be equal to them. And that's the lesson. OK, you can't do what they do. That, that's the talk that I hear that um, black mothers have to give their sons. You can't do the things that they do. You're not going to get away with it the way that they can. You're going to get treated harsher. You're going to get treated worse because you are black. White people, however, people who look like me, put, put a MAGA hat on me. And you could easily have seen someone who looks exactly like me in that capital, in that capital riot, in that capital siege, in that insurrection. And I could bail out. Probably. I mean, people like me always come out ahead in our system. And you know what? Those Trump supporters, they like it that way. They prefer it that way. Um, me, I think they should both be denied bail. Treat them equally, right? They're both part of this capital insurrection. I mean, the gall, the temerity that she has to sit there and ask for an exemption. I should be able to go to Mexico for this nice, nice trip. She held a, you, you, you know what? She tried to help, help a coup and, and, and is proud of her actions. It just shows, this entire thing shows how the rules are different when it comes to race and class and of course, is a great example of, once again, white right-wing privilege. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.